Martin Short, everybody. Thanks, sir. Hello, George. Welcome back, sir. How are you, baby? Hello, buddy. Good. That, um, congratulations on your nominee. Thank you. And your nomination and your hosting which, gig. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> And your hosting gig? I am hosting, yeah. Do you remember that when we shot that episode where you had to sit on the motorcycle with me and it didn't occur to you that you had to sit on your own seat? <laughs> I know. It was unbelievable because I didn't know, well, it was a high seat. Yes. So I sat right in my seat. In your seat. <laughs> While I was there. Yeah. It was, and, and, and then we announced our engagement. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, how, how are you? How are I'm things? good, very good. well. You keep me very, very busy. Yeah. Well, it's going to be exciting this Sunday. It's going to be a big show. Big, big show. Right. The, um, I, I was reading this great Vanity Fair article. But did you read this article? I don't know if people have seen it. Judd Apatow co-edited this um, comedy issue. Yeah, this, I, I finally read it. You did read it. This <laughs> yeah, is yeah. the picture of you in the... And then I memorized it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get up on this one? boy. <laughs> you know, just on a paddleboard in your backyard with a bunch of swimsuit girls around yes, you, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. I suppose this Typical was day. from your Facebook profile page? No, it was just I wandered in the back. <laughs> <laughs> but, see, what stands out, aside from all this, is the golden quote on the top from Lauren Michaels. And Lauren Michaels says, that sort of oddness, and he referred it to you and to Dan Aykroyd as well, that sort of oddness, that's allowed in Canada. I think that's true. I think that's very true. I think that that, you know, for a long time I used to think, oh, it's a coincidence. You know, people would say, why are Canadians funny? Is there something in the water and all this stuff? And then after a while, then Mike Myers and, you know, Jim Carrey, and then you go, wait a second, this is odd, given. And you realize that Canada is a nurturing country to the odd behavior, and they love character. <laughs> well, they are. Yeah. Look at Stephen Harper. That, that you know. <laughs> You don't write them broader than Rob Ford. <laughs> you really don't. But you have this, like, and we've talked a bit before how you're past rife with tragedy early on, but you seem to have the chemistry that allows you to find your way through well, it. Well, I think that with any, everyone has a, a checkered uh, past of happiness and sorrow, and I think that some people are empowered and understand more about life through unfortunate occurrences, and some people become victim and then often play victim from it. How have you been the last couple of years? You know, it's been difficult. But um, I think uh, my children and I continue and, and understand life each more. I mean, each day. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you're able to put enough work in front of you. I think I've put a lot of work in front of me <laughs> for that it, reason. But you don't strike me as the kind of guy that requires a distraction. So when you do it, is it, it, wasn't to, is it to be distracted? No, it's, it's to... to, um, it's to create a normalcy in your life that you may not find at home, uh, but you feel in your work because you were, that's the same way. Right. You know, if I'm getting ready in a suit in Boston to go on stage, Nancy wasn't there with me, but if I'm home, she was. So it's almost better to be in Boston. Right. And last on this was when Kathy Lee talked about it, you handled it with such great, the clip was really uncomfortable for a minute, mm -hmm. and then the way you handled it was, I, you know, listen, she thought we were taping a rerun. That's what... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean... <laughs> Let's go way, way, way back and see if we have this clip. Let's go back and... Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> That's very good. You know one legged jacket. <laughs> what on earth are you two doing? Playboy magazine. I might have known. That's absolutely shocking. You young people at breast best stop reading this sort of thing. It's what are you talking about? It's a very good magazine. <laughs> <laughs> we did that. We got paid. Uh, that's McMaster University. That's Dave Sherry, yeah. my old friend. And we got paid by McMaster University uh, psychology. Uh, that we, we, we acted out psychology. And uh, yeah, I think I got $60 for about 400 hours of work. <laughs> Snapping and rapping and having a shout. And when you hear ding-a-ling, and when you hear ding-a-ling, that's your cue, money! <laughs> Was? Yes! When you hear ding-a-ling, as I say that, do you understand? How complicated is this, you idiot? 
Can I sing too? No! I've been yelling at McCartney, dude. Someone had to. Do you, um, because you are so humble and so well adjusted, and you, and you clearly are very present in the moment, do you ever have a moment when you look and go, it's Paul McCartney? No, well, you know, there was, a, there was a moment in rehearsal, and he starts breaking in, I hear it's your birthday! Da -da 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 -da. It's your birthday too! And then he said, he grabs me and goes, Marty, sing with me. Oh my God. Now, this is just for the crew. Yeah. But meanwhile, there's a mic right here, and I'm like this, and there's Paul McCartney, and I'm John Lennon. <laughs> And I thought to myself, this is strange. <laughs> I challenge you to a host off. Bring it on, dude! It's a host off! Host off! All right. What are we doing? All right. I don't, um, in the interest of, oh, this is going to suck, man. Wow. So here's what we have to do. There's three, there's three competitions. One of them is singing. One of them is an acceptance speech challenge. And mm -hmm. one of them is elocution. Okay, and good. that's how we start. Okay, All so right. elocution. I'm gonna. So we have this following phrase that we have to say right here. We've got on cue cards, and by applause, you know who to vote for. <laughs> you want me to go first, or do you want to go first? I want to see what not to do. <laughs> I am. The, I have the worst enunciation ever. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. <laughs> I am. Um, I think that was accurate. I don't think it had much soul. <laughs> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers, and Peter Piper picked. Wait a second. So also, I don't know who's keeping tabs. I know it's all fun. So far, I'm winning. <laughs> okay. All right, so acceptance speech challenge. You get to pick A or B. So okay. Pick, which one do you want, A or B? I'll go first. Okay, you go first. Okay, so you get to read Sally Field's 1985 Oscar speech for Places in the Heart. That's your speech All that right. you have to read, okay. I haven't had an orthodox career, and I've wanted more than anything to have your respect, but the first time I didn't feel I had it. But this time I feel it, I can't deny the fact that you like me. Right now you like me, you really like me. <laughs> Go ahead or just skip to the next. <laughs> well, I was gonna, but I don't think I can do it. I was gonna do re read Roberto Bonini's acceptance speech from Life is Beautiful. I wanna see it, I wanna see it. We'll All right. <laughs> this is a moment of joy. <laughs> I, want, I want to kiss everybody because you are the image of joy. And he who kisses the joy <laughs> lives in eternity sunrise. This said the poet, the rain, the hailstorm. The hailstorm, it's a hailstorm of kindness! <laughs> Is that what he said? No, I have no idea, yeah. <laughs> Is that what he said? That's crazy. Can we have a trophy? We have a trophy. But the Nation is no longer on the air, so you get the Testination oh. trophy. <laughs> 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 